The drive through food distribution here at Rensselaer Field will now take place every Tuesday from 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. But a lot of these cars here behind me were in line hours before the opening, telling us this help is desperately needed. The familiar sights and sounds returning to Rensselaer Field Tuesday morning. Cars rolling through the parking lot and volunteers loading free groceries into their trunks. It helps put food on the table. It helps the kids, you know, get some kind of nutrition. Lynn Rodriguez and her friend were in line at 7 a.m. That's two and a half hours before this site even opened. And they were not alone as they waited among a big crowd of cars ready to receive food. It is much needed help during this pandemic. You know, I've lived a lot of things. This is like the worst I've ever think I've been hit. And 10 months later, we're still here, 227,000 cars, 7.7 .7 million pounds of food. We're still going. Don Pacini is the logistics manager for Foodshare, and he knows firsthand how much this distribution means to families. Uh, today, they're going to be getting 20 pounds of produce, a uh, half gallon of milk, and some granola. In addition to this site here at Rensselaer Field being open every Tuesday, Foodshare, along with the Connecticut Food Bank, also launching three new identical sites in other parts of the state that are going to be open other days of the week. A new site in Norwich will open on Monday starting January 25th. Another site will also be open on Wednesdays in Norwalk starting tomorrow. And the last new site is now open on Fridays in New London. <laughs> So nearly one year since this pandemic started, the mission now continues. I mean, we've had people crying in our hands, um, just so thankful. These cars leaving the distribution sites packed with a whole lot of food and a whole lot of gratitude. I thank God every time I come here. For a full list of those exact locations and hours for those new food distribution sites, you can visit our website, fox61.com. Reporting in East Hartford, Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.